Welcome to the Daily Decrypt, your home for currency competition. I'm your host, Amanda B. Johnson, and today's episode is brought to you by BitShares. Andrew Stone is a member of the development team of Bitcoin Unlimited, a reference client which seeks to scale Bitcoin with bigger blocks and guide it with an alternative governance model. The Daily Decrypt reached out to Andrew after hearing about Unlimited's newest development called ThinBlocks. ThinBlocks is a um, network op optimization on the blocks. It allows them to be sent uh, using you know, a lot fewer bytes. And the basic idea is uh, the Bitcoin client today essentially has two different uh, protocols running within the P2P uh, network, and they don't really communicate to each other. Uh, one is the transaction protocol, and one is the block protocol. So if a transaction comes in, it just forwards it to everyone. If a block comes in, it forwards it to everyone. These are completely separate. And then what miners do, of course, is they take the transactions from the transaction level and they mine a block and produce a block, right? But uh, Peter Shipper, who's the uh, you know um, author of this, and I think Mike Kern actually created an initial uh, cut at it, had the observation that um, most of the transactions in a block are already at all the nodes because of you know the the transactions have already been passed in this transaction layer and they're in what's called the mempool the memory pool and so rather than passing all the transactions inside a block uh the observation was we should just pass like uh, a hash of the transaction which is essentially an id of the transaction and so that can be like 256 bits right or in the extreme uh block case we just uh, crush that down to 64 bits and so you end up with huge savings in, uh, you know, block sizes because you're essentially just passing a pointer to the transactions instead of the transactions themselves. We'd heard thin blocks mentioned in relation to the great hashing power, which resides behind the Great Firewall of China, or GFC, which is geographically enforced internet censorship. Some have pointed to this censorship as a potential problem in miners' abilities to relay increasingly large blocks. We asked Andrew if thin blocks could indeed provide a solution, and if so, how? Presumably, most of the transactions originate from outside of China, just because there are more people outside of China than are inside, right? So all those transactions have to enter China, right? And then be put in blocks and turn around and come back out again, right? But there's absolutely no point for that to happen, right? We could just uh, have the transactions come in and then send back out a reference to those transactions waiting just outside of the you know GFC, right? Uh, so actually what uh, we're planning to do as one of our next steps is to extend our, um, our relay network uh, into inside mainland China. Sponsored shout out from ChangeTip a team that's upgrading their popular social tipping service to give users control of their own Bitcoin private keys. In other words, ChangeTip is becoming a hot wallet for both web and mobile. You can open your own ChangeTip account or request an invite to test the private beta at changetip.com wallet. Andrew reports that the Bitcoin Unlimited team will soon be setting up a donation address to help fund the placement and maintenance of their thin block relaying node in Beijing. And what about cryptocurrencies other than Bitcoin? Could they also benefit from potential incorporation of thin blocks? Yeah, I mean, it could be pulled into any Satoshi client, right? Uh, anything that's forked off of the fundamental client, including, you know, classic and core, right? Got it. Um, yeah. Or any cryptocurrency. You can learn more about the developments coming from Andrew and his team by visiting bitcoinunlimited.info. Today's episode is brought to you by BitShares, a delegated proof-of-stake currency with three-second block times. The BitShares wallet is also home to a decentralized exchange, where profit-sharing tokens from exchanges like CCEDK and Meta Exchange are traded without requiring traders to give up their private keys. You can learn more at bitshares.org and have a censorship-resistant day. 